April 12th, April 25th, New Style. The Memory of the Venerable Anthusa. Anthusa's father long urged her to marry, but she refused. After his death, she became free and distributed all her possessions to the poor, as well as to churches and monasteries. She became a mother to many orphans and a protector of widows. The pious Empress Irene repeatedly urged her to live with her and participate in the governance of the empire, but she firmly refused. During her time at the palace, she wore rich garments outside like a royal daughter, but underneath wore sackcloth, ate meager food, and drank only water. Tears were always in her eyes, and church hymns were on her lips. After receiving the tonsure at the monastery of Ammonia from the hand of St. Tarasius, she became a nun and never allowed herself or any other sisters to leave the monastery. She never missed a church service, deprived herself of rest, remained fervent in prayer, and never ceased in her vigilance, with tears of contrition always flowing from her eyes. Her humility was beyond measure, as she served all the sisters, cleaned the church, fetched water, never sat at the table during meals, and served others. Having spent her entire life in this manner, the venerable one, rich in virtues, departed to the Lord at the age of fifty-two. The Venerable Anthusa passed away on April the 12th, 811. On the same day, the memory of the Venerable Martyrs Minas, David, and John, pierced by Cyrus and Arrows in Palestine, is commemorated.